Good evening, I'm Anderson Cooper, New York. Welcome to 360. We'll cover all the latest stories from around the globe. But first, let's go to today's special guest anchor from CNN's world headquarters in Atlanta for check of what's making headlines at this hour. Reporting from CNN World Headquarters in Atlanta, I'm Barry Kantrowitz with a CNN News Update. From right here at home, just one word, chopsticks. Inspired by his Asian background, an American entrepreneur turning central Georgia into a fast-growing, job-creating region that makes four million sets of the utensils each week. Jay Lee, a U.S. citizen originally from South Korea, says his company is America's only chopsticks manufacturer and exporter to China and Japan. Lee started Georgia Chopsticks in a town called Americus, population 17,000. China and Japan simply don't have enough wood to produce their own chopsticks, while Georgia does. Lee uses recycled materials from area sawmills and sweet gum trees that are plentiful in the region. The demand is so strong that Lee plans to add five more factories and expand beyond Georgia. For you shopaholics out there, with promotional discounts running rampant online and in stores, it's easy to fall into the trap of overspending, especially if you have a problem with impulse control at the mall. But beyond carelessness with finances, compulsive shopping is a mental disorder that psychologists recognize, although it has not been studied extensively. For compulsive shoppers, buying something creates a feeling related to the euphoria that alcohol induces, says Bonnie Forrest, a psychologist in San Diego. About 6% of women and 5.5% of men are compulsive buyers, according to a New York psychologist and author of To Buy or Not to Buy, Why We Overshop and How to Stop. She estimates that between one-third and one-half of compulsive buyers eventually turn into hoarders, but some just buy a lot of items and get rid of the older ones. In sports, for the elite basketball stars of the NBA, winning Olympic gold was a must, not an option as athletes from around the world return home with coveted gold, silver, and bronze medals from the 2012 Summer Games in London, we take a look back at the original USA Dream Team. The United States basketball team that won the gold medal at the 1992 Olympics in Barcelona was a phenomenon on and off the court. Many consider it to be the greatest team ever assembled in any sport. It really didn't matter that it outscored its opponents by an average of 44 points per game. What mattered that the Dream Team, the first USA Olympic team to include NBA stars, gave fans a glimpse of basketball at its finest. Since 1992, basketball has exploded in popularity around the globe, rising to a place where it challenges soccer as the world's most popular sport. The 2012 USA Redeem Team roster included LeBron James, Kevin Durant, Kobe Bryant, Carmelo Anthony, and Russell Westbrook, just to name a few. And finally, in technology news, from the continuing rise of tablet devices to the return of the Internet IPO, 2011 was a transformative year for technology. Therefore, the top trends, top tech trends for 2012, have, po have possibly had an impact on our daily lives in one way or another. For some of us, tablet computers, such as the iPad, have become replacements for desktops and even laptops. And what about frictionless sharing, which removes the need to click a button to share media with your friends? Now everything you listen to, read, or watch is automatically posted to your profile once you approve the relevant app. And let's not forget mobile payment technology, virtually allowing anyone to accept credit card payments. 2012 is the year of NFC. Near field communication essentially lets you replace your credit cards with your phone. Wave an NFC enabled phone near the credit card reader in a store, street vendor, or taxi cab, and the money is deducted from your account. Happy trending. And that's our report for now. For a check of the news any time of the day, just log on to our website at CNN.com. Reporting from the CNN Center in Atlanta, I'm Barry Kantrowitz. Have a great day.